Hello everyone, this is KJ and welcome back to No Man's Sky 2024. Today we are going to do the purge finally and uh, after that we'll reassemble ourselves. I've removed all the tech that can be broken. We're going to change starships. We're going to do it now because it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, I might need a hypercore or two. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I have room for a hypercore? I do. I have that one weird spot that I never meant to have. Uh, Shippo, where are you? I know I've been ignoring you, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Uh, so what I did, just out of a, an abundance of caution, is I pulled my indium drive out. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in there, just in case we need it. We might not. And uh, is the hyperdrive loaded up? Uh, not quite. We'll go ahead and waste one of those. We gotta make uh, 18 jumps. And uh, we also have to stop along the way. It doesn't matter where you go. We'll have to stop along the way and wait for these data injections because uh, otherwise it won't count the jump or it didn't used to it might work better now I don't know but we'll see uh, 16 jumps for the uh, data injections and I think we're gonna get interrupted a couple of times here there it is should just be going to that map or to the galaxy map, I mean. I just change ships because I happen to have a functioning ship. If all you've got is, you know, a C-class ship that's uh, half broken, then, you know, probably not. We are going to uh, get a chance to change multi-tool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to do that. The hyperdrive is full. Why is it doing that? Oh, maybe it's not full. You don't have to go anywhere. You can jump back and forth between two stars. You can teleport home, reset the mission, and jump back and forth between two of your local systems. Stop along the way. Hunt for multi tools like lava does along the way. Here's our first interruption. It's Apollo. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. Simulation. Everything's not real. Feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway, and I've been thinking about that. If the problems of the universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes, I bet we have years. I've been thinking about that a lot. How we couldn't meet, even though we seem to be standing in the same place. I don't think we were really in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us, they transform us. They cut through dimensions, that's what I think anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. I say goodbye telling Apollo that I'm on a, a journey to the center. They tell me that they'll race me there. We speak of the memories we have shared, though we did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet. They say that they are proud to have worked with me. Goodbye, friend. Oh, cool. We got the data injection after all. That's a change I like. <laughs> That's a good change. It used to be when you stopped and had a conversation, you didn't get the data injection. So, yeah, they're changing the game. It's cool. Oh, we're up to Glyph 10. I had no idea we had that many. 
at a sequence 2 of 16, the purge weirdness. No injection on that one. Oops. I don't have a lot of hyperdrives. I think that they are all on the Utopia speeder. I should have saved the ones that I like took off the Utopia speeder when I found better ones. Am I not tracking it? There we go. Thought maybe I wasn't tracking it in the log. <laughs> <laughs> you can see down in the lower right corner it says 3 of 16 and on the top of the screen it says 11 of 16 it's because we already have some glyphs so we'll have them all before the end yeah I don't I don't have enough <laughs> I think I have hyper cores on the uh, on the freighter though. I put them away. Oh well, that's all right. We're just like circling around. You can go back to the same system, back and forth. You can go towards the center. You won't get very far though. Even in a ship that does 3,000 light years or 4,000 light years, you're not going to get anywhere near the center. It's 700,000 light years away. So, yeah. I, I kind of wish, oh, that's a cool-looking space station. Look at how it's all glowing and stuff. <laughs> it's got that star behind it. That is so weird. It says we're only on four. I hope I'm waiting long enough because that's that's crazy. That means we still have eleven jumps to go. Posse. Let's go hang out with our posse. <laughs> it's also maybe a good idea to stop and land and do a save. But there is an autosave going on. And just sitting still in space long enough to wait for that data injection is enough for that autosave to happen. You're not alone. You can't go to the center. You can't do this to us. You can't leave us. I'm real. The center of each galaxy, it's the atlas. It's all else is just interfaces. All else a shadow of its might. You don't deserve it. You'll wipe us all. I did what I had to do. I told you that. I couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. I did what I had to do. But the Atlas, it won't let me back in. It won't speak to me. I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to. It was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, 
If you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me, wipe me. All those souls, they'll have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life for more life. They sustained me. It can't all have been for nothing. I was going to see it all. I say goodbye as Null screams at me to reconsider. I end the communication. There's nothing left but the path towards the center. I think I rushed through those other ones too quickly. I don't know what that thing said. Like, there shouldn't be anywhere that I can't go. I'm curious now. Almost have all of our glyphs. What did that? I wonder what that said. Uh, that one says the hyperdrive has no fuel, but that's not what the other one said. Is there places that I can't go? What is that? Out of jump range. That's what it was. <laughs> No great mystery there. <laughs> I saw a red warning label and I was like, what? What am I doing? Ah, happens every time. I see a pretty planet and it turns out to be gamma or it's toxic. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's green. What is that? <laughs> all right, we have all of our glyphs, but we've got more traveling to do. No, oh, somehow that's out of jump range. I think we only can travel like 150 light years or something. <laughs> oh no must be time to save I can't believe that I haven't played for or that I've played for three hours oh this is an abandoned system is it abandoned or is it a pirate system? Oh, it's a pirate system. Cool. Alright, this is as good a time as any to change my multi-tool. Freighter torpedoes detected. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I had an episode a week or so ago. <laughs> I came into a system and I'm like, you're on your own. <laughs> was a rocky uh, stop there. There's another one that looks really cool. It is not. It is a volcano. <laughs> it's, an, it's a volcano with blue oceans. <laughs> All, I know. A trail omega. That made me think of the never ending story. Oh boy. 
this takes so long to do. It doesn't even matter if you're like, oh, that's frozen. It doesn't even matter if you're, you know, flying thousands of light years or just 50 light years. It takes the same amount of time. Almost there. I don't know how many times I've done this. I would guess maybe seven. Because there's been many, many times when I've avoided this mission completely. Oh, pink grass. unfortunate what the ocean color is though. I did uh, one save where uh, I didn't do this at all. What I did was travel to the center of the galaxy. No, no, wrong button. I traveled to the center of the galaxy um, just to, I, I did it like one one star system at a time, and I used a lot of black holes as well, but um, we did, uh, I don't remember now what it was, maybe 5,000 light years a week, I think. We did a black hole plus a few jumps every week, and... Uh, I think that series was a daily series, or maybe five a week, or something like that. Uh, Permadeath the Journey. And uh, I can't watch it because my voice was so weird back then. And also I had a terrible microphone. So I can't watch it, but there were just a ton of, of funny things that happened along that journey. Because it was such a long journey. You know, it was months of <laughs> months of traveling, you know, a couple of hundred light years every day and exploring where we were and then uh, black holes to sort of launch us forward. I did it all in an exotic. <laughs> I had a great fighter, but and a great freighter, but I did the whole thing in an exotic. Gaia Dwaya, Dawa, something. That's cool looking. There's that funny colored water again. Kind of pink water. It's a gamma planet. Alright, two to go. We're almost there. It's pretty good. It feels pretty good to have all my portal glyphs finally. Like I was gonna do, what I was gonna do was go around and find travelers and get my portal glyphs that way, the long way, I guess. It's a long way if you don't like use portals to get glyphs, which is a weird thing that you can do. But uh, I've never done it that way. I just, uh, go from station to station until I find 16 glyphs. Alright, here we go. That was an especially long jump. It doesn't want to go away. Locate and enter the final portal.
This is a last chance you have to check and make sure that uh, you've got everything, all of your technology protected. So before you go into the portal, make sure you change your multi-tool and you're in a ship that you don't mind like throwing away and breaking to pieces. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You can fix everything. I don't know where the portal is. I also don't have aqua jets because uh, I took them off and put them on the Utopia speeder. Should be pretty much right in front of us. Oops. Oh, I passed it. Ugh. I can't control this thing. Oh God! <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop it from doing that so that I can hit the button. All right, I don't have a visor. Oh, I do have a visor. Oh, good. I forgot whether I had left... Yeah, I left that on there. <laughs> okay. That's where we're going. That way. I wasn't sure I had enough hyperdrive fuel to do all of that. There it is right there. It's gigantic. I have uh, any of this stuff on me. I need cobalt. Oh, let's see. God, what a mess. I have no idea where all of this stuff went to. I can use uh, dioxide, I think. There's the cobalt right there. Of course not. Uh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. I don't remember putting the cobalt away. I think it was just like hitting buttons. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't looking to see what I was doing. Oops. a big decision whether you decide to complete the purge um, whether you decide to go through the center of the galaxy or stay in this one I don't think that matters I'm not sure if you have to go through in order to complete the purge or in order to do the autophage missions I should say now, here we are here again. Bubble land. Bubble land. It's a ticket to ride. Don't threaten me with your noises. Oh, there's a white box over there. <laughs> it's going to count down now.
I think all the sound is new. ship the atlas is silent it watches me I cry out but still the atlas is silent I cry out thinking of my journey thinking of all the things that I have seen of Artemis who just wanted to meet another traveler who just wanted an end to their loneliness I cry out, thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. I cry out, thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. If I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the inner base of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset it's happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, had I just performed a reset? Had someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that's left is to learn the final truth of the simulation, to know who the travelers truly are, and then a thousand galaxies will be gone? and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. I have to know what happens. So right here, crucially, at the end of the video, close to the end anyway, 28 minutes in, a lot of people are gonna miss this. Crucially, knowing where you're going is pretty important. If you want to go to Eisentown and you're in Euclid, pick this green one. If you want to go to any lush galaxy from anywhere, pick the green one. This is an ancient galaxy. It's kind of like Euclid. Uh, this is the same kind of galaxy as Euclid. And this, this is a bad place to go. Everything is harder there. Everything is harder there. And you don't go very far, just a couple of galaxies away. So, challenging, super duper challenging, like from the moment you wake up challenging, uh, or go to a lush system. <laughs> a tranquil galaxy. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. Here we go. This is that crazy song that Lava's always singing. <laughs>
Welcome to Eisentown. That's one way to get there. You can also uh, go to the Anomaly and uh, travel to a featured base that's located there. You can also fly there by going through all of Euclid and all of the next galaxy and the next nine galaxies until you finally arrive in Eisentown. It's a long trip. You can also portal to the center of every galaxy and then jump through. Uh, Lava and I have done that quite a bit on the live streams. Oh, that's blinding. Yay! It's hot here. That's the first shield we're going to put on. <laughs> We do have a hazard protection on, though. That's new from Worlds. Uh, normally, lush planets wouldn't, uh, or paradise planets wouldn't have a temperature like this. But we would have had to carry phosphorus to fix a heat shield. So there's no reason to like leave it in place. All right. Again. Uh, there's the remembrance. We need to build a heart of the sun. In order to do that, we need to do the Atlas mission. The base computer archives. I don't think we ever finished that. All right, let's find our uh, heat shield. Uh, thermal protection, please. A uh, blade of armor. Uh, is that it? No. There it is. All right, now we can load that. <laughs> There we go. Now we got stuff working. All right, I'm going to put this all back together. Oh, the storm ended just as I did that. I'm going to put this stuff all back together. And uh, when we come back next time, we'll go to our ship. and uh, Or we'll call our ship, one or the other. We could just go to the radiant pillar. It's over there. It's all, um, yeah, it's all busted and broken. Just like everything would be if we had flown our main ship. And this is probably going to sit in the freighter's landing bay on fire for weeks before I get around to fixing it. <laughs> Alright you guys, we finished the purge. Now we can uh, do trace of, finish uh, trace of metal and uh, go on and do the autophage missions. Alright you guys, I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.